So yeah, so how does it feel? Your premiership first year playing mm. AFLW and then you're a premiership player. Crazy. Yeah. I Like five years into the comp now um, and just thinking about it, it's, it's mind-blowing. Like the first one ever, um, like the girls, are, I look back at the girls now and they're obviously going into a prelim tomorrow. Yeah. So um, and they've won another one since in 2019. Um, but to be part of the first one, like no one can take that away from me. So... Mm. Um, it's in history. Your, your name's written yeah. down, right? Yeah, mm. exactly. I mean, yeah, winning a grand final with the, like, those girls and I've built friendships with those girls for life. Yeah. So we don't necessarily have to talk to each other every week or all that kind of stuff. We can play each other, I guess, in three, two years' time and um, we can still have mad chats. So <laughs> I was talking to Erin round one uh, this, this season and it was like yesterday that we were playing on the same team. So mm. it's crazy. It's great. That's crazy. So um, at the start of this, at the start of that year, did you feel like you were in a good chance to, to win? Not to really. Win gold? Not really. Wasn't it was it so neutral? like every we say every year. Like I think maybe this year was probably the only year where everyone's like, okay, like um, we know where each team is kind of standing in terms of draft picks and previous history. But before that, it was kind of we don't know where people are or the teams are sitting. So hmm. going into that first year, no one had any idea how well like the competition was going to go, let alone individually, um, how it was all going to pan out. So we were just running with it. It was a snowball effect. Mm. But um, I actually remember having a conversation with my dad on the phone. Um, I said, Dad, don't expect too much from us. Um, just based oh, really? off our training stuff. Like, Oh, really? Yeah, we, we were real rough like early. So, um, you know, maybe I just went in with my blinders on and had high expectations, but... We played such a great brand of footy at that time of the footy development mm. um, that I think trying to kick Mark was not there yet and we just played search footy and it worked. So <laughs> we knew where to be at the right time and it helped. Yeah, right. So now obviously it's been five years five years down down the track now. Has it – you've seen now how much more professional – is it taken more professionally now by the, by the players? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, we're at that stage where uh, going into this year and I'm, I'm not sure about other clubs, but I know at West Coast where um, we're starting to think about changing programs in terms of first to three year players do um, a certain program. Yeah. And um, and then the older girls, like the senior citizens, <laughs> uh, <laughs> we, oh. we take a different type of uh, route to um, our bodies and what type of condition because we're – we're used to what the demand is, I guess, after four or five years into the comp. Mm. So in terms of that, we're starting to get a little bit more elite and um, our focuses are starting to change mm. Mm. Um, to 